thirsty, Miss Tammy? I think Wa water, 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 water tastes good, though, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah. I know. I, I like it first thing in the morning. It just tastes so good. Nice and clear. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous summer day out there. And it's the 19th. The 19th of July. Hard to believe because it's... We have like two more full weeks, I think, or just two weeks and a bit. Uh, two a week. weeks. Yeah. Well, the rest of this week and next week. Yeah. Right? So. And this is July, and July has been a beautiful month so far. Some rain, but things are green. I really like it when it's green and everything hasn't uh, shriveled up, and you know, we have brown lawns and brown everything. You know, our flowers are. Well, so. June was looking a little brown. It was. And you know, things are starting to become ripe. I don't know what you've been eating lately that has been like fresh from the market. Um, but I went no. to the market on Saturday before we came in and there was like green beans mm. and uh, zucchini. Oh, zucchini. Strawberries. Oh. Um, they had some fresh garlic, which was really good. Um, some small new potatoes. And this week we had some robins and corn. Yeah, here the corn stand is open. Mm -hmm. And yum, yum, yum. So we had some last night. I, I'm kind of limiting my husband to only twice a week because of the sugar, you know. But we are loving the corn. And he and he's instead of eating like four or five ears, he's just eating two. I eat one. But it was delicious. So we're happy that the corn stand is open again. And um, then I, I found a recipe... Because, uh, you know, we got all this nice fresh produce and it was, uh, you take onions and, you know, just kind of caramelize them. And then I just used a pie plate. They had a quiche dish that they suggested. And I sliced um, thin potatoes, but I did it on my grater so that it wouldn't be you too thick. You still got all your fingers? But, it, but, but thicker slices. And then um, zucchini and tomatoes. You could layer it. And then some melted butter and... Um, I know, Arlene, you're not a big tomato fan, but you could put another vegetable in there. And then it was covered and baked in the oven for about 30 minutes. And then you took it out and you put some Parmesan on top and then just let that brown up a bit. It was really good. Mm. Sounds very healthy. You know how sometimes you come across these ones online, some of these recipes? And I think they called it a potato casserole. But Bill said he liked it, but he'd like more potatoes in it. <laughs> but because I was following, the first time through, I always follow. Yeah, you but I should, thought, right? I thought, oh, next time I think I might add some garlic and some fresh herbs. But it was delicious. It's just that all that nice, fresh stuff mm -hmm. to eat. So, who do we have this morning? Well, there's Ruth. And Lori. I've seen a few on there already. Have you? Yeah. Well, when we were talking. Okay. Joan, yeah. Karen, Lynn. Oh, good. Look at that. Another Karen. Gwen. Fresh peas. Gwen's been having fresh peas. Oh, Doris. Yeah. Linda. Janice Leverton. Marilyn Walsh. Thank you. Look at all of <coughs> you. And there's Mary. We're so glad you join us today. We're glad you join us all the time. Okay, well, I guess we should uh, talk about our door prizes. Yes. So we are going to have three mystery patterns. That's one door prize. And so the value in that would be almost $40. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a good prize. A uh, block book. Okay. Okay. And then these little sewing-themed fat quarters. There's some little uh, thread spools. spools. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say bobbins. I'm like, that's not the right word. <laughs> some little scissors. And the little florals. Oh, some people have black currant jam and pickles done. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I am going to make blueberry jam. That's on my list. Maybe some salsa with a friend. But other than that, that's it. Okay. So let's let, let's talk. So we are talking about the block book. The new block book has arrived. And maybe I'm just going to put this down here so we can um, take a look and you can, I'm just trying to see if we can see some of the projects that are in this month. But there's some really nice projects in this uh, in this magazine. Of course, our Missouri Star books are $9. We haven't changed the price in many years. So there's some good projects in here. And so this is the latest edition. And she's celebrating 10 years with her block magazine. Isn't that something? That's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. So we have those in stock. There's Bonnie Wilson and Gail and Andrea. 
We also have um, some paper piece patterns. I thought maybe I would just show a few of those. We have this clamshell pattern for those um, who like paper piecing, big projects. This one's $75. This is a Prismatic Star. This is a Judy Niemeyer one. It's beautiful. This one's $38. We have this Picnic and Lemonade by Jacqueline de Jong for 42. This is another um, Jacqueline de Jong one, Miss Rosie. That one's $75. And Happiness, we've had this one up before. 2.0. Yeah. And then we have Spiked Pineapple. This pattern is $20. We, we ran a class on this one at one time. We do. We have a sample somewhere. Yeah, maybe we should do that one again. I'm not sure. If there was interest, we'll do that. But anyway, we'll see. And then we've got um, Poinsettia. This is another Ooh, um, Judy Meemeyer, and that one is 32 You know, I, th I think I remember seeing Mark Hawkins did one of these. Wow. Oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Anyway, for so, some of those that are looking for a challenge, we have some paper piece patterns. Maybe want to talk about this, Tammy. I think we have before. So we have two last wheelchair um, quilt kits left. There's the male version and the female with the butterflies and the purple. This was using the male one was the Tim Holtz, and so we just have the uh, sorry. They have the pocket in the front so that when um, your loved one is sitting in their wheelchair, they can put their hands in their pockets. Um, I think you have it upside down. Yep, there you go. So uh, I have I one of each left. They're $43 oh, yeah, dollars each. Yeah, I do. Because you can put your phone or something here and mm -hmm. in your pockets here. So, yeah. And so everything is in your kit for your top and your binding. You could pick your own backing if you wanted to do a minky or a flannel or just a cotton. And that would be a neat little gift. And today we have a surprise for you. So, drum roll, if I, I, we should have got music for it because it's been so long, <laughs> I'm not good but at drums. our new website is up and we thought we would show you our website today and guide you through it. All right, so, there we go. So, the look is a little different and um, let's just see across the top. So, maybe we'll just look at home and we can kind of, let's just scroll through our home page here. So we've got our extended hours for July, so we can change and put messages there. Like So we chose to put the shop up there. And then we talk about, you know, our fabrics a little bit here. And there's our collection list. And some of our quilting kits, tools and accessories. And here's a spot to subscribe to our emails. And now when you scroll, like, I think it won't be till Friday, but we'll have this week's Facebook Live. You'll be able to go back, just come to our website and look up our episodes. Our latest one our and latest, then our yeah. previous. Yeah, yeah. there'll so, be some. So we're going to have a bit of an archive of some of those. And we're keeping those under our blog post. So that is our home page. Um, and now if we go to About, this kind of tells you a little bit about us. Okay. Okay. And you know about parking and what do we what do we do in here? You're good. Okay. Oh, are we going to scroll down here a little bit more? Mm -hmm. um, let's see. What else do we have under about us? We have get to know our team. Yeah. So there's lots of things to. Yep. So read on your own. So you can click on any of these and learn about our staff. Look at our Karen there and Darlene. And then our story, we have a little bit about our story, um, just about Cherished Pieces and how it started. And there's a picture of our flowers this year with the store sign. And then I think we have some pictures of when we were in the house. And uh, <coughs> there on top left, there's Tracy and her Aunt Marie, and um, uh, there's Jessie. And look at this picture of this little one down here. I wonder who that is. Miss Karen. 
That's a long time ago. I had one of you and Adrian. I have to find out. Anyway, we'll get that one up there too because that's adorable because she was sitting up on the table. Oh yeah, she had a cute little bob haircut. Yeah. <laughs> so that is our About Us. And then we have a, a shop. So you can go shopping here. And we have different collections. So you could go to AccuQuilt and look up our dies. Um, you can get a gift certificate. You can click on fabric. We're going to be adding more items to gifts. So um, let's go into let's go into um, some of our fabric. Now what you're going to see here um, is I think we are still working on our units of measure so that it shows up yards. We were trying to do yards and meters 10% more and um, the system won't allow us to do that. So our fabric is all going to be in yards and um, we're going to work to keep that current. So lots of uh, fabric and we're going to be adding some of our new things that we have every week and now something else you guys have been asking for. oh let's look at sale we also have the sale we did get a few things there so we have a few things on our sale page and we'll be looking to add there too and then classes finally so here um, because this class is tomorrow, but you could hit here and you could see where um, you could sign up. But you want to you want to hit the read more. Now the VAT. We're trying to make that say HST. That stands for Value Added Tax. It was something that was just with the template. I haven't been able to to uh, figure out how to change that. And our consultant is working on that too. We're fortunate we had a, a lovely consultant out of Simcoe, Jordana uh, Marketing, that helped us with this. So when you go down here, we'll just go down a little further because we've added some August classes. We want to talk about that too. Because the Evelyn Crossbody, we had some people asking for a Saturday class. Mm -hmm. So here it is, Saturday, August 19th. And then I think we added some Bargella classes, right? Louise had two that we mentioned. Well, we've just added two more. The 9th and the 22nd of August. <clears throat> so you can look here. We still prefer you call in. Um, we're going to see if we can have a few here to reserve your spot. We just have to figure out the logistics because we only have eight in our classroom and uh, we don't want to overbook. So all you have to do is click on that class. And even though it's not, even though you can just click on it, go to, uh, even if it says reserve your seat, that's not committing you you'll be able to get more information and look at the pictures. And there's that lovely crossbody bag with uh, Bonnie. I think we have two openings for tomorrow's rope bowl class, don't we? I think we have two left, yeah, to my knowledge. So I throw that out there. Uh, let's see, so that's classes. Then we can look at retreats. We've updated this page and we're going to do a little bit more here too. So we have our dates and um, our rates and what uh, where, what we have available and what's full. 2024, it's hard to believe, but it's already starting to fill up. And here we are only halfway through 2023. Gift cards, always an option because you can do that in any amount to buy a gift card. Um, gifts, I think as we said, we just have one item there now, but we're going to be adding. Um, let's go to, okay, blog. I think we showed that. That's our, our lives. If you want to go there, contact us. So, you know, if you need to track your last order or look at our hours or get a hold of us, this is a, a way to do that. Has our map on how to find us and oh, you know what I want to say let's go to um, you know, up there see where it says um, K 
Okay, a couple things. See where it says, what are you looking for? Search. Let's, maybe you were looking for red fabric. Let's just type in red. Let's see what happens. Look at this, guys. Now, if we wanted to, um, if we just slow down there a bit, Arlene, let's go up to where we have, um, where we can change our font size. We, okay, but we'll do that on the next page, I guess, when we come up to it. But it's okay, red. Um, see at that very top, contact us. If we hit this, you will get a bigger font so that if you have trouble seeing sometimes on the web page that the print looks too small, um, you can hit that and it will get bigger for you. So you could search now, let's say, let's look for blades. Look at that, seven results. Um, let's look for Northcott fabrics. So let's just type in Northcott because you know that you want something that might be Northcott. And look at all the stuff that comes up, 31 results. So pretty intuitive. We'll let you find those things. And um, anything else we want to talk? Oh, it's view catalog. Let's have a little peek there. Oh, that just says so you can kind of come back. Oh, so if you wanted to look at flannel or just pull up wide backings. There, well, we'll look at the flannel. There you are. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So it's pretty easy to navigate. And if you ever have any questions or concerns or something's not working, just give us a call. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think we can go back to our uh, main screen. And there we go. We've got a little tour of our new website. So we're happy that it's finally up and running, and um, we're getting some training Friday morning on how to do some things on the on the back end. All right. So, Miss Tammy, what should we talk about? Fabric, or do you want to take care of this? We can still leave it up. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about what's behind us. I'm going to move here so you can see better. So this quilt is called Block Step, and we used a batik jelly roll and three accent fabrics, and then the black for the background. And so this is a twin size, 72 and a half by 88 and a half. That's more like a double. Really. It is. Yeah, it's a I'd big double, twin. Yeah. I'd say double. A generous. A, yeah. Generous. Yeah. Because a double mattress is only 54 inches wide, so that gives you plenty of overhang. Well, I guess it depends and on how eight, Maybe thick. at least eight inches. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? So we don't have this actually kitted. We are getting more of these jelly rolls, but we just wanted to show you, you could pick a different jelly roll, three accent fabrics, and you could make this your own. So we're going to sell the pattern. It's Block Step um, by Robin Pickens. And it's it's a good uh, diagrams and good information. So let's look at some of these pre-cuts that you've All right. So there's uh, Ballet Pop, Hoffman. Any of these, you know, you pick your own background. There's some more um, warm nature desert type colors. We can put them on top, maybe. There's a purple. That. Royal, it's just rustly. This is Savannah, and these are 67. So they're still jelly rolls, even though they're packaged flat packaged. They're not in Dif a roll. Different companies package yeah. them differently. Copperfield, which we think is gorgeous with the oranges. Oh, I think I already have that one. And here is one called Rainforest. That would be fun. That'd be very fun. That one's only 45. Uh, this is purples, so you could do. You know, like a more um, monochromatic. monochromatic. Yep. You can have some fun with that. There's also this in the beginning jelly roll, Rainbow of Jewels, no, by Jason Yenter. Oh, that would be gorgeous too. That's 46. And you know, you could pick maybe your favorite colors for your accents mm -hmm. to make those pop. And you know, if you wanted to do a spin on it, you could grab a more traditional jelly roll. Sorry, I'm going this way. Uh, Redwood Cupboard. And, you know, pick a creamy background and you could have like a modern pattern, but do some classic colors. Yeah. Which is always fun. Yeah, I think we have that one. And we just brought this one up. Uh, uh, layer cake doesn't work, but the uh, 
really love this layer cake and we just wanted to remind you that we have it and we have the you saw on the website when we were um scrolling through that we have cave fabrics that's just a gorgeous bright one that could be that, so many different things one. just screams make me make me take okay. me all right and then um so that's our uh quilt for this week and then we have some fabric to show yeah. and okay I was also going to say, maybe we should not forget. Let's do some show and tell. Oh, okay. I always worry about forgetting that. <clears throat> oh, there's Angelique. And she made this for her god nephew. Who's going back? Who's been in? Who's been here from the farm? Who's been helping on the farm? Yes, from for like eight weeks, I think it was. <coughs> she, excuse me. So she wanted to uh, make him something of reminiscent of his time here. So that's going back to Holland with him. Mm -hmm. And here's Margaret. Oh, this doesn't show up as much as I'd like it to. But if you looked in close, her quilting is amazing on this because she custom quilted it with um, wisps, like, you know. Yeah, and chef hats. And chef hats. And this is for her daughter. And this has, who loves to cook. And it had... Um, that Janet Wicker first one with all the cooking animals. The Hungry Alphabet. Yeah, yeah, that was just really fun. So in the dark space, you could really see she had picked a gold thread. You could really see the whisks and the hats. And it may show up, depending on your so, monitor, yeah. it may show up more. But, and yeah. there she is with another one. And this was her version of that happy fabric. And let's see, who else do we have? Um, oh, come on, Debbie? She was in the beginner class. And yeah. She uh, got that quilted, she finished it, and it was uh, it's very bright. Oh, it's gorgeous. I, I think the picture doesn't quite do it justice, but it was yeah, this is a beautiful very bright. One. And this is Mary Deborah Wallace. Well, that's a fun one. Yeah, her Halloween quilt. Isn't that neat? I must have missed that. I think that was Saturday, wasn't it, Arlene? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was in on Saturday. And, ah, there is Laura Mahoney. Look at how beautiful this one is. This is her, this is, she's making quilts for all of her grandchildren. Yes, this is one of the based, lucky ones. And uh, based on their favorite color. So I think she has a grandson who loves green. This is Liz. And this is Liz, and she was in. Oh, wasn't there a story about this quilt? Oh, I forget it right now. Anyway, it was a very nice classic mm -hmm. piece. Very nice. And our one block wonder class last Friday. Here are some of the ladies on Friday. Working away. We always have fun. Yeah. Always keeps them busy and going. And there's Sue, yep. Yeah. And then we had a class yesterday. And there's Rosie. There's Louise standing up there. And Francis. There's a whole bunch of them. And let's just go down to the next one. I think this has been our most popular class that we've ever run. Because I think we're running, and it's a technique class, and we're running, I think, 10 of these. Now the Bargello Technique class, we're, we uh, I've just as I think we've said we've added two more. Mm -hmm. Those dates in August, you can find them on our webpage, and uh, we'll go from there. So we've already filled two, and now we're working on three and four. Yes. Okay, we have a little bit of fabric to show you, and then uh, I guess we'll do drawer prizes. So we do have these little pet placement kits left. We just have this uh, fish one. It's a little kit, it was $14. You would pick your own fabrics, but you've got the interfacing that give you the instructions on how to do it. And I think this is like a quilt as you go, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so it's a quilt as you go. It's piece like by cute number, kind of like paint by number, but piece by number. By, so by cute detail. for a cat. Yeah. yeah, that would look so nice in a home. I might be tempted to put some of that old diff stuff on it that makes it waterproof. Maybe I'm just thinking of Murphy, who's very messy eating. Well, that would help. Less cleaning. And so there's uh, a cute little cat fabric while we're talking about cats. Yeah, that's a, look how cute that is. Isn't that fun? What else do you have? So these all, all kind of kind of go together. They're black and whites. 
Maybe we should roll this out a little bit. Okay, let's move this one. I will. Or we can put a couple on top of each other. Yeah, put a on top. So that's a black and white. And then you can add these colorful dogs. Let's roll this out a little. I just like people to, whoops. Let's turn them so the dogs are, I guess it doesn't matter what direction. They kind of remind me of Where's Waldo? Except Waldo's not in here. Oh, there's kind of Murphy. <laughs> He's little, where's Murphy? <laughs> He's a little Boston. We can make our own. Where's Murphy? And then there's uh, black and white silhouette dogs. Oh, I should do this one. And then there's more of those dogs, a little more spread out so you can find them. Oh, do. Colleen, we knew you would love those cats. <laughs> then here's some little black and white polka dog cats. What? When you drop them, the whole thing kind of... Did I? Yes. Oh, okay. So I should be okay. more gentle? Yes. Okay. I I'll guess. work to be more gentle to him. All right. So then you have dogs or you have cats? I, I have a little bit of everything, I think. Okay. So there's a uh, the little... I'm going to say wiener dogs because I can't pronounce Dash the other one. <laughs> Those are fun. And this is these some bones that say good dog. I thought that would be cute together. Pick like a the gray or another color from the fabric and make a three yard kit. And this just makes me laugh because you could do that. Look at that. With some of the black and white. Oh little gosh. pencil dogs. And then I think I, what I have is cats. And then you have cats? Okay. Then we'll so we get have rid some of the cat dogs. faces on orange. And some cat faces that are green. These are like those creamsicle colors. And this one is about, you know, pos possum and positive. Some positivity for your catitude. Cat. Catitude. So we have that in three different kind of colorways. Look at that. Oh, oh four different colorways, Tammy. Red. Or, or is that orangey? Orange? Orangey yeah. red. And then I have some mystery cats. Those always look like those. I always get a kick out of these ones with the eyes like that. Maybe it reminds me of some little cartoon. Yeah, I was going to say Who the heck cartoonish. Yeah. Anyway, so those are uh, 16 a yard. So, just some ideas. Okay, so, I guess it's door prize Ms. time. Miss Arlene, is it door prize time? Mm -hmm. You and Karen have been writing madly over there. We'll do patterns first. Ruth Huddleston Dion. Congratulations, Ruth. You'll post these names, of course. Arlene does always on their webpage. And you block them. Diane Roberts Buckerel. Congratulations, Congratulations, Diane. And then the little fat quarter bundle. Uh, Mary Crow. Congratulations, Congratulations, Mary. <laughs> Mary. We'll see Mary then, I'm sure, sometime. Yeah. Well, and thank you for joining us. Enjoy this beautiful summer weather. The shop hop is still on, mm -hmm. and uh, it's been lovely seeing so many of you come in. And um, enjoy the weather, the wonderful bounty of the season, all the nice things that are coming into. I'm still getting fresh asparagus, which I think is pretty oh, wonderful. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so anyway. Find something fun to do, and just enjoy your day. Yes, thank you for joining us.